hi guys I'm back with another video i want to stay consistent and because i have a lot of accumulated a lot of stuff or i didn't show you guys in the last video so first things first is i have these stemless champagne glasses from target three dollars i have this cheese board i got today from at home my first time going to at home and um with my initial on it i wanted to do i had found these for like a dollar or two dollars at aldi's and i wanted to do the layer effect so i'm trying to put the little one right here in the front when i prop it up on the countertop if i find a picture of my idea in my head i'll insert it i also have this folding tray this is gonna be a short video last video was like 30 minutes or 20 minutes this one gonna be short because i'm getting straight to the point so right here, um, yeah, it's like a charcuterie board, $5 from Target. I wish I would've got the square one too, cause then, you know, just to have it. I like to host, so when people come over, I'm gonna have a little, some straw. Okay, look, look, some grapes, some cheese, some crackers, make a charcuterie board. I've done it before. They're really cute and fun to make. Um, then I have this spice rack found this at at home i got two of them actually at home 7.99 each um i showed you guys in my last video the spice charts i have and i figured i can probably fit three and since it was so narrow like it's an apartment so they little cabinets be narrow and everything I else i got from like my country and stuff they're kind of big so i don't even know if they're gonna fit in the little drawers that they put in the apartments but figured out when we get there but i figured three six nine twelve we're gonna have it so 15. so i have 14 jars so they're gonna both be kind of full put one at the bottom one at the top and there goes all my spices so that's it from at home oh i got some lemon essential oil then i got this at walmart the thing of washcloths i don't mind the thin washcloths I also have some more washcloths on the mail bag which y'all probably just see when I move because I don't know how much stuff I'll accumulate before then because um, I have a little way at Burlington. I just did a little way because I don't know. I have no rush to put it in here. It's only a month that they keep it anyway. I have no rush to keep everything in my room. My room is cluttered. So if you see anything in the background, please ignore it. It's full of like all this stuff is going to fit in a one bedroom. I have it in literally one bedroom. Not bedroom apartment. So found these dishcloths and it's like okay four for three dollars not bad i'll probably get the rest of mine from dollar tree which is on my list this is from walmart got these today 18 white towels i like to use white towels for my face let's move on um i did i got my knife that i was telling you guys about got a regular steak knife from walmart these from walmart um from the time and table these were three dollars these were 12 for the three knives and they're black and gold black with speckles of gold which goes with the culture board that you seen in the last video if you watch it please check that out so you can see everything i got but yeah i was obsessed with these knives and i'm like i have to get these ones i don't know why i just like the way they look i hope that they're sharp and i didn't really want the board i see everybody has those clear ones and they're cute, but it's just not my style. And I don't know how much counter space I'm gonna have because I haven't moved yet. I am planning to move and I'm just accumulating the stuff here at my parents' house. I have a sponge holder from the Dollar Tree and I bought something from Burlington that's gonna go on my kitchen counter that holds my sponges. So I might use this in my bathroom because sometimes I like to have a sponge in the bathroom like you know I me mean? like so if i just want to clean up the shower while i'm in the shower i don't know that might be weird but like you know like spot clean while i'm in the shower like do the big clean for the week or whatever but spot clean it's just gonna be me but sometimes i like to have a sponge so i can put the sponge in here and keep it in the shower um got this from dollar tree while we're still on dollar tree it says Wi-Fi password is, and then you fill it in with like a chalk, and it's a magnet, and uh, it says you're welcome. <laughs> so I have this on my fridge for when I have guests over. 
Um, that's it. Oh wait, another thing from Dollar Tree. See, this thing you gotta clean up all this mess when you pull it out. Got this from Dollar Tree for spoon rests to hold uh, my spoons from what I'm cooking. Gonna be chefing it up. Let's go to Amazon really quickly, which is just two things. One right here is my um, bathroom hooks. They're black and they're just double sided. Um, like, so when I put the liner and the hook, what do call The liner and the shower curtain. I don't have to be removing it. I be like putting my hands up like that. I mean, you be making my head hurt when you do that for too long. So I wanted the double sided. So I wouldn't have that problem. Uh, another thing from Amazon. Yeah, I like, okay, just a brief disclaimer. Not a disclaimer, but the way I'm shopping, it's like letting me weigh my options because I'm doing online. And then I go to the store and I see the stuff in store sometimes. And it's like making me weigh my options. So I like this. Okay, I don't like this no more. Take it out of my cart. So I have like a Walmart cart, an Amazon cart, and a Target cart online that I just keep putting stuff in or I take stuff out. And this way it's letting me weigh my options and see what I like more. You gonna hear the rain in the background, it's raining in Southern California, okay? But yeah, for me, that's, it's been cool. So if you're still at your parents or wherever, um, shopping like little by little, $50, like I get myself, at first I was doing like $50 a week wouldn't be bad. But I don't think I need to do a week because some of the stuff is just big and it's just gonna be bought or right when I move, like a vacuum and stuff like that. I'll do that the week of. But yeah, okay, sorry. On to the next. If you have any questions or something about moving, like how I'm shopping and how I'm storing the stuff, I can do a video on that if you guys ask. Next, I have these gold straws. They were $8.99. The cleaner is in here too. And some of them are curved. Let's see if I can find them. There it is, curved one. So if you guys seen my last video, you see that this is gonna match my forks and knives and stuff. So that's it from Amazon right now. Gonna move to Bed Bath and Beyond. Nice. I'm excited about this purchase. It's an automatic soap dispenser from Studio 3B. This was like this was on sale for five dollars. I heard Bed Bath and Beyond is closing. But yeah, I can't wait to put this on my bathroom counter. Um yeah. So it says I read the reviews and some people are like they don't really like it or it got stuck but you just need to clean the little nozzle if it don't work out it's five dollars but i'm also trying to keep it up keep it clean warm some run some hot water inside the little nozzle where it comes out of and kind of dilute my walk my soap so it's not too thick because if where it comes out is really really small like almost like a pinpoint from what i can see i'll show you guys I'll show the vlog, not the vlog, but yeah, I'll show y'all. So as you can see, it's really, really small as far as this part. But um, like I said, I'm probably gonna dilute it. It just needs battery. Um, I'm gonna dilute it so that it don't. I hopefully don't run into no problems. You can use it at least for a year or two, a good year or two. That's my hopes. Um. Like I said, if it don't, if it messed up, it's five dollars. I could just go get a regular hand pump and stop trying to be fancy, but whatever. It's cute. Also ordered a picture from Etsy, but it's coming from the UK. When y'all see my tour, you're gonna see that, and it's so freaking cute. That's all I must say. Um, better that to be on continued. Let's see. I went into the store to pick up this soap disc. It's called a fluted tray. It's not a soap disc, it's a tray. Fluted stripe jet black tray from Studio 3B2. I'm gonna put this on the counter, probably put those clear organizers I showed you guys in the last video. Um, maybe on the back of the toilet or the counter top. This was $5. And this is like literally the last one this store had. It has some nicks in it that I wanted to give it like trade it off but I couldn't so I'm like nobody will see it 
once I crop it up on the counter situated how it's situated but um when I went in to pick that up I picked up these two candles from Studio 3B this one's ocean sea salt and this one is coconut sands and they both smell really good so I will have these nearby in the bathroom Ooh. after I clean that bathroom or I'm just relaxing I'm gonna light these candles One last thing from from uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and I just realized that I skipped Walmart and Dollar Tree had another item. I'll show you guys though. Bed Bath and Beyond, we have here this bathroom rug. It's shaped like a lip, if you can tell. Um, this was five dollars. This is either gonna go probably not by the tub, but probably in front of my sink. I'm thinking I already like no shoes in the house, so wouldn't mind people stepping on this. And I thought it was cute and different. And then the regular square round puffy ruffle, whatever. Um back to Dollar Tree. Uh I was just found these wall art canvases. And this could probably go with the other thing I ordered on Etsy and I'll probably put them all in the bathroom. My bathroom really don't have a theme or a color. It's just gonna be me. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the kicker. Um, the rest of that you guys seen. I'm trying to put the stuff, some of the stuff back in the bag to remember where it came from. But I think this is the last final thing I showed you guys all the Show you guys this. Yeah, this might be the final thing um, I got that I like. And I just didn't want it not to be available when I wanted it. It's a Black & Decker stainless steel um, two slice toaster. It has extra wide things for bagels, which I kind of eat often. Um, so that's cool and it also has a defrost so like when I put my waffles in this was I'll be back okay. I'm sorry <laughs> this was $22 mama gonna say she knows she gonna be knocking on the door she gonna say sorry she don't be knocking anywho this is what I got from this haul um like I said I have some I have some stuff in Burlington, um, doo -doo -doo, Burlington Co Factory. Uh, that's like mostly like tubware. I like glass. I got the glass tubware and like I said, the kitchen sink thing, some shy glasses, little trinkets. They didn't really have much. And that's not going to be all <laughs> unless I get extra stuff to go with that. But um, this one's short and sweet, straight to the point. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this gave you guys some ideas of something maybe you forgot because me watching these videos helped me remember little things that slip your mind like, oh, I do need that. And then I go get it. <laughs> but I don't feel bad um, shopping for my, my place because it makes me actually very excited because I know how it's going to come together beautifully and it's going to be my space. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys in the next one.